Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Okay, yesterday I took you on a skating adventure with me and you know, the whole time I whined about how brutal it was because the skates were so uncomfortable. I hadn't skated in eight years and now I remember part of the reason why, because those skates sucked. Uh, they were low top, very uncomfortable, digging into my ankles. Just, they didn't fit well, they were stiff, blah, 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 blah. So today I decided that I was going to look for a new pair of roller skates, kind of like I used to have when I, when I was little and I used to skate everywhere. Then I started thinking to myself, God, do I really want to spend any money on this? I just started searching for roller skates and different types of skates, like stuff that you can put over your shoe because shoes are comfortable. You know, I have my own shoe, it's going to be comfortable. And then I came across a post deep down the rabbit hole of Google and somebody had taken an old pair of roller skates that didn't fit, it took them apart, and basically built them into his own shoe so that they fit perfectly. And he, he took pictures and he gave directions on how to do it. And I thought to myself, I bet I can do that. How hard could it be? <laughs> well, it's really hard if you don't have the right tools and I really didn't. So this took me a lot longer than it should have. But here's what I did. All right, so what I did, was I took the old skate apart. And as you can see here, you can see the, the holes where it came through on the bottom. This is stiff as a board. It does not move. It's horrible. And I had just, I, right in December, went to the Converse store and bought myself new chucks that I really like. And I wear them every day, all the time. So I took my old pair and I took the entire structure apart. And I'm not really gonna get into detail here, but there's two screws that come up here. They come down through a plate and then two here that are on a plate up front. And you take the wheels off. I mean, it's relatively easy. The worst was the little itty bitty bolts that come through the bottom of the shoe because the, the, the little nut was so small. I didn't have the proper tools. So it literally took me probably a half an hour just to unscrew those four bolts, which was horrible and my fingers are all tore up, but whatever. <sighs> then I had to line up the plate on the bottom and get a drill and drill through. Now the tough part was, is that these chucks, one of the reasons why I like them is because they're waterproof. So they have, they have this lining that goes through the entire thing so that it's all enclosed and your feet don't get wet. Drilling through that was a bitch because the drill bit would grab the fabric when I came up through the rubber and the sole and just, and it would just wrap around the, the bit and try to cut through. I was trying to use a knife. And the worst part is because that entire inside has a, a you know, it's basically like a lining. You can't pull the tongue all the way up and get down to the front here. So I had to, I had to jam my hand under here and try to feel as I put the drill bit through and not drill into my fingers. The bottom line is, is this was really difficult. It would have been a lot easier if I had the proper tools and if I were using a different pair of shoes. But, you know, I mean, I had them laying around. There you go. So I'm gonna put these on and go for a skate and see how they work. And you're coming with me. Aren't you thrilled? Okay, much more comfortable, but there's a little bit of a problem with the left and I can actually hear it making a noise. I don't know if I have it screwed in enough or maybe too much and it's making like a popping noise. I really dislike those speed bumps. But this is a lot better than it was yesterday. Ooh. And because it feels so different, it's like the first time again, all over. And ooh, can I feel this in my ass from yesterday. And I'm definitely only going to the end of the road here and turning around. Again, not too bad. A couple hours worth of work. I used a pair of shoes that I was ready to throw away. I didn't have to buy any hardware. It just took me a couple hours and several layers of skin on my fingers to take care of this. And now this is a much more pleasant experience. All right. <laughs>
Okay, so a quick video today. I don't know what got into me and why I felt like doing that, but I enjoyed the skating yesterday in theory. I just didn't enjoy how those skates were just digging into me and they were so uncomfortable and I felt like I was gonna break my ankle. So once again, this is what I did. I took my old chucks and I basically took apart the old skate, took this entire plate off, which is stuck up inside the shoe with a plate that has two bolts that come down on the front and in the back. And you can kind of see them sticking out there. I mean, in order to do that, you got to take the wheels off so that you can get the little itty bitty bolt in the, in the screw, the nut. And then you have to take everything out of the inside of the shoe and you have to be able to drill, drill up into it, but then shove the plate down through the inside of the shoe. And that was the hardest part, trying to get those holes to line up through the fabric through the little hole that you drilled through the bottom of the, of the sole of the shoe. And then once you got them through, all you had to do was take the plate, pop it back onto those screws and hold them down long enough to get the screw started. And then the laborious process of very, almost like a few millimeters at a time, turning that little bolt, uh, I mean nut onto the bolt because I didn't have the right tools. But all in all, now I've got a perfect skate that is, comfortable because it's on a pair of chucks that I loved. The only reason I got rid of them is because I basically am a heel, like a heel stomper and, and I wear out the heels on my shoes very, not quickly, but mostly I've had these for like three years. You know, since I got a new pair, again, I was going to throw them away and it turned out perfect that I didn't. And again, I didn't have to spend any money. It would have cost me anywhere from 70 to 150 bucks to get the skates like I wanted which was a high top so that I didn't break an ankle. And now I didn't even have to buy any hardware because I had this and I just reused the nuts and the bolts and an old shoe. So there you go. That was today's project that was born in my head early this morning after I got up and started looking for skates. And then after I got my hair cut, I decided, you know what, before I eat something, let me do this. So at this point now, it's almost five o'clock. I haven't eaten since breakfast. I'm hangry and it's time to eat. But I just wanted to show you that, you know, it's possible to convert an old shoe <laughs> into a relatively comfortable, perfect roller skate if you're so inclined. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.